Hi, everyone. My name is Heather. This is my daughter, Charlie. Say hi. Hi. Today, we're going to do an activity that involves numbers. It involves initial sounds. It involves physical activity. So it's something that will hopefully really hold your kiddos' attention and something that they're going to be excited to do. This is also an activity that is very adaptable um, between different ages, which I can show you at the end how you can adapt it for older kids, for younger kids. I would say this activity is something that would be steered more towards the preschool age. Um, Charlie is five, so that she's right in that age. Um, but you could probably go the whole way up to six, maybe an early seven if they didn't do the kindergarten thing. So um, yeah, it's something that's just a lot of fun. So what you do is, I just wrote a bunch of numbers over here. I wrote their letter names out over here. And then we have our magic box that Charlie will show you that is filled with activities, um, action verbs, anything, running, hopping, skipping, jumping, clapping, anything that you can think of that could possibly be something to get them up and moving. And they will do that, ac that action that many times. Okay, so let's get started so I can show you. All right, Charlie. So the first number that I want you to find is the number two. Okay. What what letter sound do you hear in that two? T. Very good. T, t, t. Wonderful. Go ahead and draw a line from the number two to the word two. Okay, move out of the way so everyone can see. So as you can see, she drew it from the number two to the word two. So now, since she did that correctly, she is going to get to pick out an action verb. I'll hold your, your marker for you. What did you find? Clap. Charlie got clap. So she is going to clap how many times? Two. Two, go ahead. One, two, excellent. All right, sit down, let's do our next one. Okay, Charlie. So for our next one, I want you to find the number six. Mm -hmm. Six. What sound do you hear? Ah. What is ah. not F like a snake? Ah. S. Good. So go ahead. See if you can find that. All right. So you can see she found the, the number six, found the word six, and a little bit of that prompting, completely cool. All right, go ahead. Oh, Charlie got the verb stomp. So she is going to stomp how many times? Six. Six, very good, go ahead. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, Charlie. Go ahead and sit down. Charlie, did you notice that you picked out stomp? And stomp starts with what letter? S. S, just like six. Very good, very good. Okay, so we'll do our last one. Charlie, I want you to find the number four. What does that start with? F, very good, go ahead. Go ahead, find your number, oh, I'm sorry, did I put the cap on that? Go ahead, find your number four. Wonderful job, okay. Now pick out your last verb you're going to do. All right, so for her last one, she got hop. Go ahead, Charlie. One, two, three, four. Good job. All right, so that's basically how you play this. Obviously, you would put more, maybe make it last a little bit longer if they're into it. Um, an easy way to level this for somebody that's maybe a little bit lower, higher, you could easily do dots. So four dots. So that way, if they're not sure what a four looks like or what the word four looks like, they can match. And eventually you can start getting rid of dots. So maybe now they know what the number looks like, but not quite what the word looks like.
that's an easy way to help them out a little bit. So um, that was our activity for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.